In today's video, I will show you how to easily create a new coordinate system or a new setup for your turn feature. Um, so by default, when you open a turn part and assign the machine, you'll see that the chuck automatically chooses the largest diameter side first. So what it's going to do is it's going to machine the smallest diameter side first in your uh, main setup. So if, for example, you wanted to actually machine this side first, or it's not choosing the correct side for you, um, this is how you're going to actually um, flip that. So what I want to do is I want to come into my machine settings, and under the setup tab, this is where your, your setup is actually defined. Um, so the method currently is automatic. Your second method is a coordinate system. So that's exactly what we need to do is we want to choose a new coordinate system. Um, so what we have to do is we have to actually create that coordinate system. Um, so currently it's on this end and the z, uh, the z axis is pointing in this direction. So it's coming out of the part. Um, so we just want to flip that in the opposite direction. Um, there's a couple different ways to do this. We could actually create the coordinate system on this end and just flip the Z, or we can actually create the coordinate system on this end. So if we want to create it on the opposite end, what I need to do is create a point. So the point, we are going to use this arc center and just put it in the center of um, the part. So that's exactly where I want it to be, and it automatically snaps to that arc center. Choose OK. And then I can add my coordinate system in. So it automatically snaps to that point, or you can select the point. Um, so it has to be placed on a point, so that's why I create the point first. And then we can go ahead and we can choose the uh, direction for the Z and the X. Um, so I want to flip my Z axis. And w the easiest way I find to do this um, is to select the planes that are perpendicular to those axes. So my Z axis is perpendicular to my right. So now it's going in this direction. We just want to flip it to be the opposite. Um, the Y axis, I want that to be perpendicular to the front plane. And then my X axis is going to be perpendicular to the top. So again, just make sure that your Z axis is in the right direction. And then we can press OK here. So there's my coordinate system. I've set that up. Now I need to actually tell the machine to use that coordinate system. So I'm going to edit the definition of the machine, make sure I go to my setup tab, and instead of automatic, I want my coordinate system. So I need to select the coordinate system. So I'm going to go into my uh, design tree and choose that coordinate system. So it puts it into the little blue space. Make sure you've got that in there. And then I'll press OK. So now when I come back into CamWorks, you'll notice that my chuck is automatically on the opposite end. So there is one more step um, to set this up, and that is to go into my operations tree and choose the setup. So I don't actually have the setup in here right now. So we can easily add that in. So I can say new turn setup, or I can go through and extract the machinable features, generate my operation plan, and now I have my turn set up um, in the operation tree. So when I right click on that turn setup and choose edit definition, I need my origin to be defined from automatic instead of none. So when I choose automatic and press OK, it regenerates my toolpath to that opposite end and the Z is in the correct direction. So I just want to make sure that everything is coming from that opposite end. Now when I generate the tool paths, you'll notice that they're all coming. And if I flip it, so this is going to be in my main spindle, they should all be coming from the correct direction now.